Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chinder. In this video, I am going to discussing about uh, one more important point related to stream object that is how can we develop stream object by using array elements. So, most of the people feels like stream object or streams are designed for processing collection related objects uh, that is not a correct. So, stream is not only designed for processing collection related objects, but also designed for what your group of objects like array. Then how can we deal and how can we create stream object by using array element? Very simple, we have a static method that is called off. With the help of this off static method of a stream object, we can able to processing what array elements observe here there is a method like stream dot off and here we are going to write array of any type array of any type maybe we can take a string array maybe we can take a integer array maybe we can take any boolean array no problem maybe you can take a varax type array or normal array we can take any type of array no problem here so first let me First, let me show you how to create a stream object by using off method on top of collection of array elements. Collection of array elements, I am not mentioned collection of collection elements. So, already I told you stream is not only designed for processing the collection object, but also it is designed for what array objects also. Now, how can we deal with that? Very simple. Now, I have stream interface. In stream interface, we have one method. What is that? Off. It is a static method. So, let me show you the syntax of the static method. So, this is what here a static. Okay. Now, it is going to allow multiple values. Multiple values. Here, the value we can able to write in the form of array or we can able to give multiple values in the form of varags. So, let me deal with, let me go with the normal array first. Here I am taking one string array, here I am taking one string array, string array s equal to, there is some content, there is some content like a Naresh it and there is some other content like a core java and here I am writing like some other content like a oracle. So, like this I have three string objects, one is Naresh it another one is core java, another one is what oracle. On top of by using these three string object, I want to create one stream object. How can we just we are passing that yes into off method. Now, off method returns one stream object, off method returns one stream object and which is going to holds string object, stream of a string, off method we will create a stream object by using what here these string elements. Now, if you want to check whether all these elements are placed into the yes one or not, yes you can check it no problem by calling method like what count got it 3 we will get the output like what 3. Now, if you want to print the elements yes you can go ahead no problem how can I s1 dot for each for every element internally it will use as a consumer. Now, for every input, it will require some input. On top of the input, we can able to perform some operations. System dot out dot println, system dot out dot println, what is that operation? Just a printing operation. So, for each is the method, which is holds one consumer object, consumer object, clear. So, consumer requires some input. On top of the input, we are performing some operation. What is that operation? Just a printing operation. Just go ahead. Can we able to print the data? Yes, absolutely. Now, on top of this stream object, we can perform some other operations also. On top of this S1, we can able to perform some other operations also, not only printing. For example, let me write here stream of a string, stream of string S2 equal to stream of string s2 equal to s1 dot sorted s1 dot sorted 
Now, whatever the elements which we have in the stream object like S1, on top of that stream object we are calling one method like a sorted. Now, what this sorted method will do? It will arranging the elements, it will arranging, it will arranging the elements of S1 in some ascending order. So, if you want to print, yes, you can go ahead, we can able to print it. We can able to print by using this code. What is that again? S2 dot for each. So, we are here we required one consumer object in the form of a anonymous uh, function I am writing that is the lambda expression. Now, for every input we are performing some operation yes system dot out dot println system dot out dot println x system dot out dot println x good. Now, let us check the output what we got? We got the output like what? Core Java, Naray Society and Oracle. So, let me print all the elements, you can get the full pleasure of clarity. Now, what is the output? First Core Java starts with the C, the smallest one, letter N, letter Oracle. Basically, my S1 contains object like what? Naray Society, Core Java, Oracle, but S2 contains object like what? Core Java, Naray Society, and oracle that means we are doing some other operations also on top of what uh, stream object so here by seeing this program we can come to one conclusion stream is not only designed for processing collection objects collection framework related objects but also it is designed for working with the arrays also now now let me do one more thing what is that one more instead of uh, using this code let me take stream of a string stream of string s1 equal to stream of string s1 equal to here i am writing like stream dot of method here i am writing like one unreferenced array what is that new string otherwise let me go with new integer open and closed square bracket 10 and this is 25 and this is 20 and 35 and one more thing is what 30. So, I am taking some collection of integer objects, collection of integer objects, yes. Now, this is not a string, let me take this is what here integer. Now, let me check how many elements are there in the array 5 elements. So, those 5 elements are placed into where? Yes, if any problem, let us check it s dot s dot count. Now, how many elements are there in the s? Some error. So, let me comment this code, previous program code and execute this one. Now, we got output like 5. Clear. Now, I want to ask placing all these elements in the sorting order. Then again, stream of integer, stream of integer s1 equal to s dot sort it. Now, what I am doing with the help of a two array method object o equal to s1 dot two array method, two array method I am converting all the objects I placed all the objects into the o after that by using for each I am going to print what is that object o1 o and here I am writing like system dot out dot print ln here I am not printing ln here I am just writing like o1 yes now see the code now elements are placed into which order some sorting order let me write this is the 20 yes now the output is what 10 20 25 30 35 so here we can write see in this example what i did i'm passing one reference array here i'm not here i'm not passing any reference array here i'm passing what here unreferenced array so, not only directly work with the arrays, it is also allows, it is also allows varax, it is also allows what here, varax. So, more and more about varax we will see in the and coming videos, but uh, let me use how varax syntax can be applicable in the of method. Very simple, let me write a stream of, stream of now, varax, now we are passing like a b c and we are passing like a 
x, y, z and here I am writing like L, M, N, yes. So, this is my content. So, if you open off of what type it is t dot 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 values, t is what any type, here I am taking what string type. So, this dot 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 we can call as what here varags. It can these varags can able to allows 0 value or 1 value or multiple values. Let me work with what here multiple values. Now, let me check by using these stream by using these objects can we able to get a stream object or not? Can we able to get a stream object or not? Check string s equal to system dot out dot println yes dot count. Now, we can understand yes in the count in the yes how many elements are there? 3 elements are there. Let me delete this one. Let me delete this one. Now, observe 0. So, to this off method to this off method we can pass we can pass what single single value bbc see single value now we can pass abc nothing but more than one value maybe two values are are more than two values now here how many values i'm sending three values i'm sending sir i don't have requirement to three values just i'm sending what here zero yes you can so, this varax, this varax can allows, this varax method of method can then allows either 0, 1 value or multiple values. So, by using of method, we can able to develop, we can able to develop stream object, we can able to develop stream object. This is a example for varax, this is the example for array with unreferenced, this is the example for what uh, referenced. So, like this we can able to develop stream object by using array of elements. I hope you enjoy this video. For more videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.